After everything has been explored, after all the NPCs killed, when there's nothing left to engineer, and Raxla has become a joke, not a real mystery, because it most likely is not even in the game, what is there left to do? Well, killing others, of course! Now, clearly I'm by no means an expert or even a regular participant in this thing called PvP, but I still find it pretty fun. So here's a little bit of knowledge that I've collected to get you started in this cesspool known as the open play or more so the PvP. So usually when you find a player to train or practice with or maybe you partake in tournaments that multiple player groups organize from time to time, the rules of engagement are always about the same and quite simple. If let's say you get pulled by a random person and if by some weird birth defect miracle they ask you if you want to do a duel rather than forcing it onto you, usually what comes next is the good old pass and go offer. This literally just means facing off to each other, boosting past each other and then the duel can begin. This is a simple way to simulate a fair engagement where maneuverability is the opening move instead of your opponent locking onto you and launching missiles or torpedoes immediately. Basically putting both sides on an as equal ground as possible. So, always use this method as everyone else does as well. Also, I should probably mention that if you want to take part in tournaments or fair PvP battles, you best forget about any of these following things. Any seeker missiles! Simply put, missiles are so devastating to both external and internal modules that they are completely overpowered due to this reason. Until something really changes, missiles are one of the things that are banned in most, if not all, tournaments, and often are frowned upon in normal PvP battles too. Concordant sequence bursts and healing beams! These two healing effects are so overpowered that uh, basically just look at this clip and proceed to projectile vomit in 3, 2, one. <laughs> ship launch fighters! Yes, that's right, even ship launch fighters are frowned upon due to the simple issue. If an NPC is controlling an SLF, the instance being a peer to peer based will eventually dissolve into an extremely unstable and disgusting display of reason why we should chain and slap the cheeks of every netcoder before we let them go on the job market. Worst of all, developers actually consider players spamming fighter controls as an exploit. And basically what it does is just induce the same instability, but a little sooner. Yeah, how about you fix this thing instead, devs, huh? And finally, of course, combat logging. Again, due to the peer-to-peer -peer server nature of Elite Dangerous, if your internet quote-unquote disappears, your ship does too. This also is an exploit that developers frown upon, but funny how I don't think I have heard a case where someone was banned because of this, yet people in open use it constantly. Try player piracy and you'll soon know enough. Clearly, this is not accepted then, especially in tournaments. Okay, well, so now you know what the decent duel should be, what weapons are not allowed in matches, and even sometimes looked down upon in open too. But how about you avoid getting ganked, or simply getting killed? Usually when you get interdicted, you can try and run away if you got a superior speed, but most of the time it ain't gonna happen. You can try and go back into Super Cruise on the other hand and fight off the endless streams of totally legit and quality gameplay chain interdictions. But most of the time you will be mass locked by the big ships and while your shield could hold it for the first jump, it won't hold forever. However, while it's not guaranteed, it's still the best way to get out and survive a gank with a high wake. You see, while jumping back into Super Cruise in the same system is affected by the mass lock factor of other ships, high waking is not. This is the most useful if you play in open and you're running a trader ship, but regardless what you do, keep in mind that worse comes to worse, select a nearby system and escape. Now, much like in any community of tryhards and wannabe pros, Elite Dangerous has its own share of elitism when it comes to PvP. So whenever you, for inexplicable reasons, visit the official forums, the wretched cesspool of douche canoes and incest tractors, you'll see plenty of crybabies cursing the rondo person who ganked them and killed them without a reason. Then you see someone else say that, oh, but they're not real PvPers. Then someone else says that they are, and the flame wars of Normandy 2021 can begin. So, what is the difference between PvP and ganking? 
See, ganking is piling onto someone who is, even if ready, not capable of winning. Think of a wing of four people versus one. That is ganging up on someone. Now, ganking generally is piling onto someone who is both outmatched, outnumbered, and more often so, unwilling to participate. Basically, the act of griefing. PvP, on the other hand, well, that's simple. It's player versus player. And that's it. Anything, and I mean literally anything, that involves two players facing off, be that combat or even just to see who can bring most bio waste and <coughs> domestic appliances to Asling Duval in one hour is PvP. However, elitism in Elite Dangerous to some come in the form of saying, well, I don't gank, I do PvP, or PvP is proper way of doing things, not ganking. Like it or not, it's all PvP. I've seen this Bushido honor nonsense in literally all FPS games that I've ever played, even Dark Souls. Yes, a proper duel is far more enjoyable to see and take part in, but trying to sound like a part of a game, in this case, player greed is somehow not legit, or some sort of lower form of gameplay, well then now you can truly go fuck yourself with your dipshit elitism and gatekeeping attitude. Fact of the matter is, like it or not, griefing is possible in elite, and like it or not, people will do it. So instead of being an absolute cunt to others for how they choose to play the game, maybe instead it's worth dealing with the actual cause of this rampant griefing if you think it is, not its symptoms. So incentivize developers to do something about it if you really want a change, otherwise stop acting like a Care Bear. No wonder the official forums is as toxic as it is and the mod team there are so complacent as they are. And while we're on the topic of griefing, private groups. Yes, this nugget. This nugget of pure ripe smell. So let's say you're a griefer who loves griefing because you lost your soul and will to live during an incident in your childhood or something. You go on to a private group and start killing people, like in open. Would you be at risk of getting banned from the game? As far as I've inquired developers myself and from basically the nature of all sorts of shenanigans that have happened over the years of just infiltration and whatnot else, there seem to be no rules or reason for developers to ban people for, yeah, literally infiltrating a private group and going on a cuddly tickle time spree. And sure, well, good for them who do this sort of a thing. Uh, worst that can happen is just being kicked from the private group by its owner. And I'm not saying it's good or bad, it's just another fact of Elite Dangerous, I guess. Oh, but let's say you never ever want to get ganked. Well, Elite Dangerous actually has a method to make sure that you never encounter the same griefer, ganker, PvP person, or fuck, even me, in open or private again. Well, the block function in Elite Dangerous not only stops the blocked person from sending you messages, but it also has a hidden feature of preventing them from instancing with you. Yes, that's right. All you have to do is block a player. Oh, and of course not to have them in your friends list, otherwise it won't work. And that's it. While technically blocking decreases the chances of you instancing with that particular player, if they say get pulled in through wings, you still can meet. In any case, I think there was a massive list of griefer, ganker and PV people's names floating around in the community for those who wanted to block them right away, but I won't provide any more info than that on this subject as I don't care to take any side today as you may already tell. So there you go, the basics about PvP and maybe how to avoid it in Elite Dangerous. Prepare for some snobbery, tryharding elitism and sheer stupidity. But keep an open mind as it can be pretty fun and engaging. So be kind to each other and moreover, don't be a cunt over a fucking video game. However, if you want to be a little bit cooler and support the work I do with these uh, silly videos, if you will, check out my Patreon, you know, a little bit of help goes a long way. All the links and useful things down below. 